What's up, guys? Hope you're doing well. Hey, just in case you're curious, this car I'm driving here is a Hyundai Santa Fe, and it is about to be for sale. So if you want this, hit me up. Bought it last month, gonna, well, bought it in January, sell it in March, and then we'll be looking for a new car. So you let me know if you know any deals out there. Um, quick testimony, guys. Another way God's given me family. And that is the Antioch movement, specifically the extended, the greater Antioch movement, the Antioch network of churches, if you will. And I mean, I think I've talked about just maybe I haven't yet, but deciding to uh, to be a part of it for for life, you know, like to call it home, to call it family and the way that the Lord made that easy for Megan and I and our family. But really, I just want to testify of how valuable it's been to just have to have church family. Like church, ever since my freshman year of college, fall 2012, well, maybe like spring 2013, like the next spring, it took some time to grow on me, you know? But for more than a decade now, church has never been like me evaluating what do I think about the pastor? What do I think about the worship? What do I think about the way they do this, the way they do that, their programs? Their, what about prayer? What about evangelism? Their missions ramp? Like I have not been a consumer of a church in over 11 years. And that is awesome. Oh my gosh. Can you imagine if you did that every single Christmas? Like, you go home and you're like, nah, I don't know, like, my siblings, my parents, like, mm, you know, this house, this neighborhood, like, I don't know, I might find a different family for next year, like, got some people that would let me come to their place for Christmas. Like, we just shop, shop, shop to try to find the perfect church as if the church were primarily a service, a business, you know, something that we are a consumer of, a product that we participate in uh, or purchase but it's not primarily that at all you know like it's it's supposed to be family and, and so God's just given me family in the place of church and freed me from that consumer mindset um, but also given me like roles you know and like I feel pretty pretty known like um, there's trust people know not, I mean, not like everyone knows who I am, but like some people know who I am, you know, like if I showed up to just a different church every couple years, as soon as something happens that I don't like, like you ne you're never known, you know, like you never have a role really. You can never thrive because relationships aren't supposed to turn over every two years for your whole life, you know, not all of them, not, especially not the most meaningful ones, like your brothers and sisters in Christ, like if you're a follower of Jesus, like this relationship like with the church with the with the body of Christ like it's more impact it's more significant it, it should be even closer to the heart than your natural family relationships I firmly 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 believe that very firmly so talk to me um, and so that's just been such a gift to have that to be free of that mindset and then also like like logistically, practically to have this network that has like the, the culture carries through different generations, different church plants, different cities, different even places in the world. It is awesome to go to a mission trip to the Middle East and feel like, wow, y'all feel like the friends I never knew that I didn't know, know yet. <laughs> like, why do we feel like the same? You know, like man, like the overlap of values, or I should say like the discipleship of values. It's rich, rich, rich. Megan and I have shown up to, you know, church services at Antioch in Boston and Phoenix in San Diego and several other locations. And it's just like, ah, like a breath of fresh air. Not like the church service is always perfectly executed or anything like that, you know, but like the familiarity is very real um it's not just uh 
oh, these churches have agreed to this doctrine. Oh, these churches have agreed to incorporate this many minutes of sermon and this many minutes of worship, and these are the sacraments they practice. So the churches will feel similar. Like, it's deeper than that. It's like talking to the people, sharing experiences, and and not just historical experiences, not just let's share stories, but like directionally, you know, like what are we passionate about? What do we care about? What are we looking for, living for, praying for? And to have space for everyone's uniqueness, but at the same time, a very clear, just cultural thread. It's very, very special. It's very special to have 40 cities in the U S and you know, a hundred different places overseas in different nations that I could show up and feel like I belong. Very special, very special. And so just want to share that testimony guys. I'm thankful for the Antioch movement for, for the family that it has provided. Uh, for me, I'm so thankful to be a part of it. That's all I got for y'all today. I'll talk to y'all soon. Life is worship. God is love.